All right, guys, so now it's time to move on to uh, deleting a post. So to delete a post, remember, we're going to start off with our decorator, and it's going to request or it's going to require a delete uh, HTTP request. Right. And then the URL is going to be the same. So it's going to be posts. And then we're going to need the ID so we can figure out which post to actually delete. All right. Then let's define our function. So I'm just going to call this delete post. And so here we have to implement the logic for deleting posts. So what are we going to do? Well, uh, for me, there's many different ways, you know, deleting a post is just a matter of trying to figure out um, which specific uh, dictionary within this array has a specific ID of whatever ID we give it, and then we just remove it from the array. So however you want to do it, go ahead and do it. I'm going to just show you the first way that I thought of. Uh, like I said, this doesn't actually have anything to do with fast API. This is more of just simply working with Python. So I'm telling you right up front, this may not be the most efficient way to do it. But like I said, we're eventually going to implement a real database, so it doesn't really matter how you do it as long as it works. And so the first thing that we're going to do is I'm going to look and to find uh, the index uh, in the array that has required ID. So we're going to look for what we're going to try to get the index of that specific item. And then all we're going to do is we'll do a um, my underscore posts dot pop and then just pass in the index and so that's how we remove it from that array pretty simple and what i'm going to do is i'm going to actually just define a function out here just to keep things simple so this is going to be called find underscore index underscore post and then we're going to pass in the id that we're interested in and then we're going to iterate over the array but we're also going to grab the specific index as we iterate over it and so you do that by using enumerate So this is going to iterate over it. We'll get the access to the individual post that we're iterating over, as well as the index. And so we'll say if p, if the id equals equals id, and I forgot the in keyword here, we'll just return i. So this is going to give us the index uh, of the dictionary with that specific id. So here we can just call that function. And we'll set it equal to the index. So index equals find underscore index of post pass in ID. So we now have the index. And at this point, I can just do a my posts dot pop and then just pass in index. And then we'll try to do a return. And then here I'm just going to pass in, uh, we'll say message. And we'll say post was successfully deleted. So let's give this a shot. So first of all, let's get all the posts. All right, if I do a get all posts, you'll see that we have two posts. And then I'm going to create a new request. And this will be called delete post. I'm just going to copy that URL, pass it in there. And so here I'm going to try and delete with a uh, post of a value of one. And I realized yeah, I still left it as get, so we're going to change the delete. All right, and so now it throws an error. So what exactly happened? Well, if we go back to here and then go back to our console, it says, it says none type object cannot be interpreted as an integer. And, uh, and I realized I forgot to actually pass in ID into our function, so that's why it was giving us that error. So now let's try this again. And we see that it, we get the message that says post was successfully deleted. That's good. However, um, you'll see that the status code is 200. And so if we actually go back to our status codes, you'll see that there's a uh, specific status code that we should be using for when we delete something. And that status code is a 204. And like I said, you know, you can read the documentation, but this is something that just, you know, comes with time of working with API. So you'll know that anytime you want to delete something, uh, you want to use a uh, a 204, but before we actually do that, let's verify that it actually deleted it. So we'll go to get posts and I'll send a request and we can see that there's only one post. So it clearly did work, um, but let's update the status code. So do you guys remember how to update the status code? 
uh, the default status code of a specific path operation. We just pass in status code into the decorator, and then we'll do status, and then we'll just get our 204. Now let's try to uh, delete something again. We'll try to delete, uh, where's my delete? We'll try to delete post one again, let's see what happens. So you'll see here that we get the 204, so everything looks good. We didn't get any data back. And if we go back to our application, you'll see that we got a, an error, which says too much data for declared content length. And what's happening here is I actually have to look up this error, and that's because anytime you send back a 204, the idea is that since we delete anything, we shouldn't really be sending any data back. And so when we try to send this message back, Fast API essentially throws an error saying like, listen, you're sending a 204, we should not be sending anything back. So that's how they kind of implemented Fast API. Uh, and so the, what you should be doing is, if you want to do, if you, what we should do is actually just delete this. We should grab the response and then just pass in status code, status, HTTP 204. Right, so basically we don't wanna actually send any data back anytime someone deletes something. We just wanna send a 204, and then one of the requirements for that to work is that we don't send any data back. Uh, I know it's a little confusing. Uh, if you actually just Google this error, uh, you'll probably get better explanation. Um, but 204, when you delete something, you don't wanna send any data back. That's kind of the expected result. So let's try this again. Let's send it. All right, so we got the 204, no data comes back and no errors. So that's all we have to do. So this is just something special that you have to do for delete uh, within Fast API. Just keep that in mind. It's more of just a copy, a, a cut and paste type scenario. However, before we wrap up this uh, delete video, uh, we are still running into one tiny issue. If I try to grab a, uh, an ID that doesn't exist, let's see what happens. Well, now we get a 500 error. And we get an error because well, none type object cannot be interpreted as an integer. So uh, since we tried to grab the index from this uh, find index post, it's going to return nothing because there's no post uh, that has an ID of five. So we get nothing. And then we try to pop with an index of none that creates an error. So we need to put in a simple if statement to actually catch that scenario. So we'll say if index equals equals none. So it'll return none if it doesn't exist. What are we going to do? Well, we're going to raise an exception again. So we can use that raise HTTP exception and we'll just say status code equals, uh, in this case, uh, we want to send a 404 like we normally do. So we'll say status.http 404. And then we can send a detailed message. So in this case, uh, you know, we'll do once again, another F string. And we'll say post with ID, pass the ID, does not exist. So let's try this out. Perfect, 404, post with ID does not exist. Let's just make sure we didn't break the original functionality. We delete it, perfect. And let's just double check there's no errors. There we go. So everything looks good to go, guys. Uh, so we'll wrap up this video, and then in the next video, we'll take a look at how we can update posts.